Christelle, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Jake. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Well, this is Christelle Kiefer. If you've never met her before, we've done a few videos together, actually going all the way back to IMTS, where we did the Student Summit, talking about how we get future generations excited. But tell us a bit about yourself and what ABB does. Sure, so I'm the Global Business Development Manager for Education, really focused on building strong partnerships with schools to get students and our next generation ready for exciting uh, careers in robotics and automation. But really today, I'm excited, Jake, to welcome you and everyone to the, our North American headquarters and U.S. Manufacturing Center. So let's get started with a tour, starting with the Customer Experience Center. Let's do it. Awesome. So we're in the Customer Experience Center. Tell us what we have here. So, you know, we've been in this facility since 1993, but as of March of 2024, we expanded and really made this a customer-focused uh, facility. Mm -hmm. It's customer-centric. And, you know, March of 2024, we had our grand reopening and we invested $20 million to really foster innovation, collaboration, and, um, you know, invest in upskilling the workforce and uh, creating new job opportunities. I love that. So this area actually has a lot of different uh, technologies. It's not just a showroom. It's a place for our customers, our partners, teachers and students mm -hmm. to come look at all of the advanced technologies. This is our digital corner where we showcase uh, AR, VR with our powerful robot studio software. It's for offline simulation and programming. We have demos on collaborative arc welding, pick and place, 3D printing, a STEM education cell. So really a great place to get your hands on these technologies and really experience them. I love that. So it's a great highlight, highlight letting your industrial robot side of the business, your collaborative robot side with your Yumi's, your GoFas, and a lot of uh, really a bunch of technology integrates with that. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, so we have a robot here that obviously has had quite a bit of life cycle on it. Yes. And then we had the clean side over here. What are you guys showcasing with this in your experience center. So here we're showcasing how ABB invests in sustainability, right? So we have a remanufacturing center where we'll take robots that have been used pretty good in harsh environments and transform them to look brand new. And you know, 60 to 80% of robot parts can be reused. And by refurbishing these robots, we actually reduce CO2 by 75%. So it's amazing just to see these robots being transformed yeah. and being reused. It's pretty. So this was at one point in time in a foundry Yes. Is that what the foundry was for? Yeah. So this is seen extremely harsh environment. But, you know, that's the one great thing about robotics is once you've done that, that life cycle application of working on an assembly line, five, seven, ten years, however long that job lasted, you could take that, redeploy it, and, and it gets a whole new job life. again. Yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. So a lot of cool stuff in that's happening in the customer experience center. But the one thing that I noticed right away you look in this glass room and there are a ton of robots. What am I looking at right now? You're looking at our training center. So what we did was we invested in this very large space to upskill our workforce and really try and close the skills gap. Yeah. And we train over 5,000 workers per year on a variety of different courses. We have over 150 courses that we offer that range from robot safety, electrical, mechanical maintenance, uh, robot operations, programming, you name it. We can, we can customize it as well. We have arc welding, laser welding, spot welding cells, collaborative robots, industrial robots. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things. And you know, the great thing for businesses is when they invest in training for their workforce, mm -hmm. they are able to adopt these technologies and effectively and efficiently implement them uh, seamlessly into their workforce. So I love that. And yeah. the great thing about this as well is I highlight it, you know, you have specialty cells for arc welding, spot welding. There's an area where you have your vision systems tied into it as well for plugging and play. You have a collaborative robot center and you have even these workstations as well for the training cards that you guys have for, for ABB. Yeah, it's really a hands-on training. So, what, so you have a bunch of robotics courses right here that cover all the different sides of things, right? From the operations side, it looks like everything from a, uh, a maintenance person to a, a robot programmer, you have different courses on if they're integrating the robot versus if they're maintaining the robot. That's correct, yeah. So we have uh, courses for both entry level and advanced workers, and we have learning paths, certifications, train the trainer sessions. We can customize training to fit the customer's needs. So it's a great program to invest in. So how many different um, 
different, I guess you could say, students and people do you have come through every year who walk through the center and get trained? We have over 5,000 workers that come in that, to get trained or per year. And really, I mean, they can get their hands on pretty much any size robot that we have here, from a five to seven kg payload robot all the way up to some larger payloads as well. This one over here looks like it's doing some vision integration where they can learn how to tie in the robot with the vision systems that you guys offer. Yeah. You know, even over here, we have spot welding, which is great. I see uh, a lot of opportunities here where they can go in and learn how to program that robot doing the spot welding as well. Yeah. This is a paint line where it looks like there's some sort of, you know, like what, coordinated motion. So as those paint racks and those parts are moving down the line, the robot knows how to interact with the speed of that conveyor line so that they can do painting. Yes, that's correct. So when you're in this training room, like the one thing that I love about this is you have a lot of workers come through, but I think this is a great center. Do students, are students and high school students able to walk through here as well? to see what this center is all about? Yes, we do invite students yeah. to come visit our facility and get their hands on these technologies. Well, and I think it's so great from them as well because they walk through, like, this is what manufacturing is about. It's a clean facility, it's a brightly lit facility. Yeah. They get to go out there and they can see these robots move for the first time. They can go and look and stand next to a robot and look at it and say, wow, this thing's massive. But you can say, you know what, this is the robot that builds the car that you drive on back and forth to school or makes you know part of that lawnmower that your dad rides on. It, it, it connects them in so many ways to say, here's the robot it, uh, that matches my passion and my daily lives of, of what I do. I want to get involved with, with uh, you know, an industry like this. Yeah. It's, it's a great experience for them. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. They can see it. They can experience it. They can put their hands on it. Like I said, this isn't just a a showroom. This yeah. is a place for students, teachers, industry professionals to really get their hands on these technologies. I love it. Well, we're walking to the development center now. Tell us about what ABB is doing here. So this is a dedicated space yeah. where we will take the solutions that our customers propose, we'll build and create it, test it, and then showcase it to our customers. And we can provide feedback on what's going well with the solution, what needs to be improved, so they can really see you know, their design incorporated on our floor before it hits their floor. And I think it's one thing that they wanna see. They wanna know, is this partner gonna work well with me? Is this robot designed before they invest? all the money into an automated works out, is it gonna work for them? And you guys have a lot of different demos here. I mean, everything from flex pickers for your Delta robotics, you have your uh, smaller industrial robots, you have all your collaborative robots. I mean, th this guy, this is the big cobot, right? This is, what, what GOFA is this? This is the GOFA 10kg collaborative arc welding cell. Awesome, so coming out here, they're doing some testing to say, hey, can we weld this part? Make sure fans them behind us. We have a massive cell yep. that you guys have. This is your what, automotive validation cell? Yes, this is our automotive validation cell. And so what we showcase here is a wide variety of advanced ABB technologies and products for body shops across different OEMs. And some of the applications include spot welding, mm -hmm. spot weld quality inspection, tool changes, dispensing, material handling, and more. So if a customer wants to go out, walk through this validation, go ahead and get a part either tested, uh, welded, or through the automotive, or one of your flex pickers, or you know, AGV or AMRs, what's that process look like for them? They would just contact their local ABB contact, and yeah. we'd be able to help support. Awesome, they can come on here, see it running in person, get that validation, and then see that whole process. Yes. Perfect. Awesome, so we're walking past the validation cell here, and all of a sudden I am seeing a ton of robots that are on crate. So are these robots that are all getting shipped out right now? Yes, yes, these are ready to go to customers. So then we walk over to here and then all of a sudden we see some of your AMRs on the floor as well right now. This is a, what, a mobile robotic test center that you can go out and you're testing on the, uh, the mobile robot side where you have uh, applications or case studies that you your customers wanna try out? Yes, yes, and we have an expansive portfolio of AMRs that range from uh, tuggers to platform lift movers to forklifts. So it's super cool to see the visual slam technology. You know, that, that technology is uses a camera to map, locate, navigate through dynamic customer environments where traditional slam wouldn't be able to. I had no idea you guys had an entire forklift line as well. I yeah. thought you just had the smaller AMR AGV you know, lines. That's a brand new product that I was never aware of before. Yeah, it makes us extremely competitive when a customer needs uh, mixed vehicle types in yeah. their work. So what are we walking in and out? We're walking into our remanufacturing center where we'll take robots that were in harsh environments and really transform them to look brand new. 
Yeah, I mean, you can look at these robots right here and you could tell these robots have been through the pace. They have been seeing thousands and thousands and thousands of hours uh, on a floor and some crazy dirty environments. Yes. So are all these robots going through, are they getting a second life? Are they getting uh, spare, are they getting used for spare parts? What does that process look like for them? It's what we'll do is we'll do an inspection pre and post repair, and it all depends on what you know the customer is looking for. Some customers will send us their robots; they want them to be you know fixed up, and we'll fix them up, make them look brand new, and send them back. Some customers just want us to buy it back, and then we'll fix them up and resell them as okay. used robots. And we have some pretty big robots here as well. What robot is this that you guys have? This is our 8700, our IRB 8700, and it's 800 kgs. It's our largest robot. And you have looks like. Five of them about ready to be shipped out as well, going to another customer. And man, those things are massive. When, yeah. you, when, when you stand next to a robot and you just look at it, and this is in its fully compact state, just imagine how high this thing can be. And then mm -hmm. you have some massive tooling on the end of the arm. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And this center just goes on forever. I mean, I don't think, you, you have a thousand robots on the floor right now that are going through a refurbishment stage right now. Yes, yep. And the parts that we refurbish range from robot controllers to wrists, uh, electronic boards, teach pendants, you name it, you know, we can transform them. Absolutely. And it just goes on and on and on. This facility is, is fantastic. And this is part, was this part of your 30% expansion that you guys just did last year as you grew out? Yeah, so we invested $20 million in expanding this facility to make it more customer centric. Yeah. So we could be uh, fostering collaboration, innovation with our customers, really have a space because our customers, our partners are the key to our success. So we wanted to make this a space for us to be able to work together. And you guys have plenty of space to make that happen. There yeah. is, there's robots all over the place. So a lot of these robots, it looks like they're about ready to get shipped out. So did this go through like the validation process and testing of these robots and all these robots are getting ready to be shipped soon? Yes, so we test every single robot and controller extensively before we deliver it. And these all have been through testing and are ready to go to customers. That's impressive. And it's just amazing. I and mean, there's white robots everywhere. It is really cool to see. Yeah, and we can pretty much customize the paint job. We can customize the robots for the um, customers. And we'll head into our factory in a moment. Yeah. But the really nice thing about having a local factory is we can customize solutions to meet their needs. And lead times are shorter, you know, about four weeks. So it's really a nice thing to have. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's head to our U.S. factory. And, you know, we've been manufacturing it since 2015. And 90% of the robots that we build in the U.S. factory are for U.S., Canada, Mexico, South America. So it's really made in America yeah. for the Americas. Love it. So, Jake, I'm proud to introduce you to our U.S. factory. We are the first robotics OEM to have a U.S. production footprint. So it's amazing to see robots building robots yeah. and controllers. It's really cool to see, right? We often see robots in action, but we don't just see the raw materials. Obviously, this looks like part of the base. So we have here, what? The axis number six and axis number five, obviously with just the housing that's been machined off. So you get, you get this component in here, and then you're putting in the bearings, the motors, and assembling it all together right here. Correct. And then, do you guys even paint the robots here as well? We do, yeah. Okay. So we actually manually paint the robots, and you can get the robots painted whatever color you want. Any color. Much. So if my yes. daughter wanted a bright pink robot, you guys could do a bright pink robot for yes, her. Yes, and we have, so. Awesome. So it's just really cool to see you have a lot of these individual components. Like over here, you have a bunch of the flex picker, different components and assemblies that go on your Delta robots. Mm -hmm. And you have your motors here, or I guess it's your servos, right? You guys are all servo robot yes. driven. You have all your servo motors that are mm -hmm. over here. And uh, it's, it's really cool. As we go down through this line, you can see we're adding another access. We're adding another motor on top of it. And by the end of it, you know, even over here, wow, you just have even more and more just components being yeah. put together. So how long does it take though? Are a lot of these built to order or are you guys always making sure that you have a certain inventory amount available to customers? Mainly built to order. Okay. Yeah, and we can customize them. Every controller is customized to fit the needs of the customers. Gotcha. So you guys are out there. You're not just selling off the shelf. You're understanding the customer's needs, their application. And then that's what about that four week 
lead period time looks like for a lot of your robots is because you're going out there, once you know what it is, you start from the individual components and build them all the way out. Correct, and the great thing about being a local execution center is let's say that the deadline does change for the customer. Since we are local, we can adapt and adjust to their needs. So if they need it sooner, uh, we can work with them to make that happen. So after the robots have been built, they've been assembled, you guys have to test them, right? Yeah, so this is, is where we're at. Is this is what we're looking at right here. This is yep. where you would mount that robot onto the floor here. You want to make sure a robot is that precise, reliable item. And, and these cells here, from your industrial robots to your, your GOFA collaborative robots that are over here, they're all going through these test cells to make sure that it's going to hit that customer demand. That's right. Now, does the same process happen through here with your refurbishment as well? Whether it's a, a brand new robot or a robot that got repurposed and reused, it goes through a whole other round of testing. Yes, that's correct. Every robot, every controller, whether new or refurbished, goes through testing prior to delivery. So let's take you over to our controller assembly area where we are building our OmniCore controllers, the C30, the E10s, you know, the different controller types that yeah, we have. Yeah, absolutely. And there was a really cool video that I remember showcasing with the OmniCore. Uh, it's probably a viral video that everyone's seen of three robots all working together, dancing around wine glasses, yes. right? I remember seeing, I think I saw that video like, 10 years ago was like the first one that you guys introduced and then you recently brought that back with a new OmniCore launch and you guys are making those controllers right here on this line. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. So what we're showing right here is robots building the controllers. We also have a root cause analysis center so a customer can ship us their part or their robot. We can troubleshoot it here and provide them with the feedback they need in a quicker response time rather than having to ship it across the world. Well, Christelle, thanks so much for having me out today. It was amazing going through the whole ABB Robotics Tour from your customer experience center to your training to your demo room on the show floor. It was a lot of fun. So not everyone can make it here all the time. Of course, you want to invite people to come here. But where can they meet ABB this year throughout 2025? So this year we'll be at Automate in Detroit in May, Automatica in June in Germany, at CIIF in China in September. And, you know, again, I, I'm so glad that you're here and you were able to make it. Before you leave, though, yeah. I'd like you to meet a few more people. So let's head over this way. Awesome.